December 2007. Hard to believe it's already Thursday, and this this year is almost over. If I spent any time on his bio, the 30 minutes we've got with him would be uh, gone very quickly. He's Robert Baer. He wrote a best-selling uh, book, a memoir, See No Evil, in 2002, that uh, turned into a very successful film, Syriana, starring George Clooney, who played the part of Robert Baer. Of course, they changed some of the names and places to protect uh, the innocent and, I guess, the guilty uh, under national security. But that was a very impressive film. And then, of course, he's written a bunch of other best-selling books. He's got a new book coming out, uh, and it's Blow the House Down by Robert Baer. And uh, we're very, very honored to have him on the show today. He was, of course, a highly decorated, one of the uh, most famous uh, CIA field uh, officers uh, in modern history, uh, one of the actual uh, you know human intel people, uh, actually the James Bond type. Very few in intelligence are actually on the ground, and he has been on the ground all over the world. Robert Bear, thanks for coming on with us. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, you want to get into Iran first? Want to get into uh, Syriana first, or do you want let's, to talk let's, about let's your new talk book? about Iran? It's really on my mind. You know, here's a here's a country that has become the third rail of American politics. You touch it, you know, the president touches it, and he goes down. We've been hiding information from the public on Iran for 30 years. Uh, I'm not an advocate of going to war with Iran, but one of the things that's greatly disturbed me getting to 9-11 is the evidence we had that Iran's participation in this was never given to the 9-11 Commission report. I'm not talking about, you know, conspiracy theories. I'm talking about good, hard intelligence. Let's go back to your other statement. Uh, evidence linking Iran somehow to 9-11? Oh, absolutely. It's never been given the 9-11 Commission report. In well, please June, give it to us. In June 1996, Osama bin Laden sat down with an Iranian intelligence officer, and they discussed a comprehensive plan to attack the United States. Um, it, it, these meetings went on for several years. What disturbs me is that that evidence is not weighed inside the 9-11 What's Commission the proof report. of that? Oh, I mean, where's the proof? Well, the intelligence community has it. But they just they just never gave it to the 9-11 Commission. So we have a Sunni working with the uh, Shiites? Yeah, anything, because it, you know, in the Middle East, keep in mind, it's my enemy's enemy is my friend. And that is, that is a rule. It's an ironclad rule. You know, and especially when, when we're, we're so militarily dominant... That Iran is not afraid to, to to ally with anybody. When I was in Lebanon in the 80s and 90s, the, the Iranians were allied with a Christian group, the Lebanese forces. I mean, it's just totally unlikely. It goes against the, the understanding we have of the Middle East. But they look at themselves as militarily inferior, and they'll ally with anybody. Well, now, I'm not saying no. I don't do conspiracy theories. I'm not saying they were part of 9/11. I'm just saying this evidence was never weighed. Thanks for being with us. I'm going to turn the camera around so we can get a little bit of that light on you. you know, okay. If that's okay. Yeah, oh, that's much better. Um, I guess, Jeremy, did you want to uh, start with anything that you were... Yeah, I, someone mentioned in there that you had said something real quickly about someone should write a book about the white van. What did, yeah, you, well, mean? I mean, what did you mean by that? Well, there was an incident where there was a white van in New Jersey across from the World Trade Center, and five Israelis, probably Mossad, were uh, giving the high five after the World Trade Center was hit. And they were arrested and then immediately spirited out of the country. The 
investigation was taken away at the Justice Department from uh, terrorism and put in national security, completely sealed off. Uh, you know, if you can look at it benignly, it was the Israelis stumbled across this, didn't believe it, or worse. I just don't know, but the, the parameters of people knew about this of 9-11 in advance are there, and they need to be investigated. Yeah, because that, that's, um, th thank you for answering that, because I had a qu the question I, I posed to uh, Chief Hayden when he was here. I asked him, I was like, is it possible that these Mossad assets were in place in New Jersey in order to film the first hit? And there's actually a lot of uh, reports that they were there set up before the first plane They hit. were, they were set up before the first plane So hit. you can confirm that, that's true. Yeah. yeah, they were set up there before. So I asked him, is it possible that, that Mossad assets could be in place to film the first hit while Hayden and the rest of the entire top tier, the military intelligence command structure, uh, supposedly found out about this from CNN or other TV stations. Do you think that's possible? That the Israelis knew and we didn't? Yeah. 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 I, mean, it's, I mean, here's the way it would work. They'd be watching, let's say, a Hamas cell in New York. They're all over New York. And they run into this guy, Atta, who's staying in an apartment. And he's talking about blowing the World Trade Center up. Now, an intelligence officer is going to say, hey, these guys are serious. Let's just go down there and look. Mm -hmm. This I'm not doing a benign interpretation of this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But no one's ever answered the question. No one's ever answered the question, the Iranian connection to 9-11. Uh, no one's ever answered the question of Iranian sponsorship of Pan Am 103. The big national security questions are not answered. Well, I'm not proposing a conspiracy here. I'm just saying they're not answered. Well, we know 9-11 was a conspiracy. They, they're, they're too difficult to answer, and they can't do anything about them, so they keep the information away. They kept the stuff for instance, on Iran and 9-11, they kept it away from the 9-11 Commission report. Well, the other side of this is that it looks like 9-11, one side of it is this cover story in terms of the networks in the Middle East, and the other side is a military operation. Well, look, can you give me the name of the guy who recruited the 15 Saudis? No, I can't. No, we can't because they don't want it out. Right. But they, they weren't the ones who were able to guide uh, uh, planes into look, onto the Abu side Zab away from... Uh, Abu Zubaydah, uh -huh. one of the key guys, called Bandar in Aspen right up until the 10th of September, and they started calling me again on the 16th well, of September. What does that have to do with these um, military war games that were completely a mimetic of the 9-11 yeah. operation? Look, I'm just saying, I'm with day. you. I got a lot oh, of questions. Yep. Okay. No, I'm just, yeah. Maybe I, I just have a more common sense question that uh, I'm not really well versed in all this. There seems to be so many different um, areas that don't add up as far as the war games, as Jeremy pointed out, as far as the insider trading with the airline stock. And there seems to be a lot of things that point to, you know, to high level, uh, inside uh, aspects of our governor, government or uh, well, look, pockets Keen, in the intelligence community's involvement. And how and do Kerry, we know? They've all come out and said, they, it's in the 9-11 Commission that we don't have, these things need to be researched, and they haven't because they don't want people to know. So, it, given I mean, your... Kim, Bush tried to stop sure, it. Sure, yeah, he did. He I'm just talking about the facts. I don't... Absolutely. I don't do yeah. conspiracy. We don't want to speculate yeah. on theories, but, yeah. uh, you know... And the facts are very suggestive of it. Yes. It couldn't have been done without help from the inside, including well, these war games. I don't know who did you, 9 you, I don't know who did Line 11 based on the official. But you speak as of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed as the mastermind of 9-11, and he had no way to plan all these war games that were the only way... I'm just taking out the 9-11 yeah, yeah. commission okay, reports, I get what you're where saying. he said, I, I didn't saying. work for Bin Laden. Okay. And my question was, I'd ask him, well, who'd you work for then if you weren't working for Bin Laden? So when you say Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is the mastermind of 9-11, do, do you actually believe that, or is that are you just saying the, I'm just what the story I'm just quoting the 9-11 commission report. Oh, okay. So what do you believe, though? Because, I mean, the National Reconnaissance... My beliefs are irrelevant. Well, no, they're very important because the cover-up of 9-11, technically under the Constitution, Article 3, Section 3, is a cover-up of an act of war, and thus it is treasonous. So, we have to have these, these answers. Anyone obfuscating the, what actually happened on 9-11 is technically guilty of treason in, in, in covering up an act of war. Why was there no accountability? Why didn't anybody get fired? That's, That's a very good we question. Wonder as well. Right. People were promoted. Uh, people that towed the party line. The you know, the, down the, the listen, we're not talking about me, we're talking Americans. If I were Americans, right. I'd demand answers. Yes. That's what we're trying to do. Yes. We're trying to well, have dialogue, and we appreciate you talking with us. Okay, thanks. Right, Thank cool. you very much, And Bob. then the last thing I would leave you with is National Reconnaissance Office was running a, a drill, a plane crash into their building, and you know they're staffed by DOD I know CIA, that, right? I know the guy that went into his broker in San Diego and, and said, cash me out, it's going down tomorrow. Really? Yeah. That tells us something. Wow.
Yeah. That tells us something. But his brother worked in the White House. And oh, yeah. when you say that, that there's, we've hid things from the American people about Iran for 30 years, are you talking about the CIA's involvement in that, in the coup, in the well, revolution? Well, they do, they do, they just do that by, by, by naturally, yeah. So you are talking about that, the yeah. CIA's involvement in the coup, uh, yeah. the revolution? Yeah. 19, yeah? There's a lot more there. See you. Right. Thank you, Bob. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Ooh.